Good morning, YouTube brothers and sisters. December the 10th, 2015, and YouTube has lost its mind. Gather around, pull up a chair. Come on, come on over here. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. Let me know right now. Type in the uh, comment section below what you're going to share with Pastor Dave. Uh, YouTube has lost its mind. Church of Jesus Christ, have we lost our calling? Let me have my coffee. I hope you have, uh, in the comment section, shared with me what you are sharing with PD, because I've got a lot to share with you this morning. First, the weather, El Nino. I cannot believe it's December the 10th, which is good, which is good for the homeless crisis in America today. The city of Flint, the city of Detroit, Michigan, the temperatures are going to be uh, in the upper 50s today and pushing 60 degrees all weekend, which is one one blessing a few more days for the people of the street to find some type of retreat from the below freezing temperatures that are coming and how many how many will the freezing temperatures in february and january claim again this year ministry announcements i want to thank marguerite a precious sister for a gift to our ministry to the homeless of fifty dollars and please pray please always pray before you give to any ministry go in prayer and if the holy spirit convicts you that this is the ministry uh to support i will put our link below youtube has gone crazy youtube has gone crazy everywhere we look is talk about well let us talk about gun control you can see how the powers that be want to uh uh put stricter stricter gun laws on the people of the united states of america they want to disarm the american people and and it's lies how do you tell anymore the truth from a lie what is real youtube what is real and 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 what is false now, with these uh, two uh, Islamic jihadists, radical Islamic uh, terrorists, mainstream media news has come out and said that they purchased these guns in San Bernardino, California, that the guns that were used were purchased legally. I just want to share a couple of things I shared on my Facebook page today. They were not purchased legally. It was a lie. The White House has lied to the american people their representatives the white house uh, press secretary the mainstream mainstream media news the fact of the matter is the guns used in this shooting in san bernardino california uh, were e were illegal this is what i shared on facebook i love how the media and the white house say the guns used in the san bernardino shootings were purchased legally no they weren't the nine millimeters used held 15 round magazines, which is illegal to purchase in the state of California. You are allowed a 10 round magazine, but not a 15 round. So that the nine millimeters were purchased illegally as were the AR-15s. They held a 15 round magazine. What else uh, is going on in the world? Coming out now, and this is after, you know, we, we've got uh, the front runner for the Republican Party. Who's really, who is really, um, who could really take over the office of commander in chief? Is there anyone really? But Donald Trump is the front runner. He came out with, the, well, we need to ban the Muslims temporarily. Of course, they jumped on it. Both uh, CNN News, Fox News, the liberals, the conservatives, the uh, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, they, they are afraid of Donald Trump, so they didn't play the whole interview, uh, his whole speech. They cut it off after he said that we need to ban Muslims from this country. But he said until we can find a way, until our representatives can find a way to properly screen them. And it's the same thing that Jimmy Carter did uh, when he banned Iranians from coming into this uh, country with the hostage crisis. But he was a hero. So you see the, the lies, and uh, now Russia today, this is um, from USA Politics Today, Russia warns Donald Trump of assassination plot, a plot to assassinate him. And uh, 
Uh, like I say, we, we've got to keep it lifted up in our prayers. I don't know. The world has gone crazy. The Paris, France uh, massacre, was it real? Or was it a false flag? Did people really die? Did all these people die? Or did no one really die? And that's where the church's focus is at today. Just like San Bernardino, California. Were people really injured? Or did they bring in these triage dummies? Is, is it just an illusion? Did, did people really die and lose their life in San Bernardino, California? Did this uh, Muslim extremist, radical uh, Islamic jihadist husband and wife team, did they really go into a Christmas party and kill these people? Or were they all crisis actors? But our real focus is, needs to be on our true calling in the end days. Not just to be just so absorbed into all of this craziness on YouTube and on the internet. And I got to touch on this. Everyone is looking at this um, Corey Harper, uh, his YouTube channel, Corey Harper. Uh, people are actually following him and believing, but on December 16th, he said God told him that America would be attacked. There would be a, a, a nuclear bomb to hit the United States of America, and America will fall on December 16th. And he's showing them how to get mapped, and I guess he's leaving Monday. Nothing's going to happen. What's going to happen when nothing happens on December the 16th? But where is your focus right now? We're not even at that point in Bible prophecy, but where is our focus? And where should it be? We have a real epidemic here on the streets of the United States of America, a real crisis. People are hurting. People that have exhausted all all avenues of help and their houses have become foreclosed. You've got entire families living on the streets of the inner cities. You've got veterans who are forgotten. They are invisible to us. They come home and they are forgotten and they're living on the streets holding a cardboard sign that they're hungry. They need some help. We've got the children of the night crying in the night. It's we can hear their cries, but we, it falls on deaf ears. Children that have been just roaming the streets with no food. Entire families. Will you help me? This is where our focus needs to be. We've got to do something together as a church. We've got to come together and do something. And I can't do it without your help. If you feel the Holy Spirit convict you, please pray first. I need your help now more than ever. I'll put the link to our ministry below.